Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So in today's video, what I want to do is I want to explain to you guys where have I been? All right. Um, it's been about five or six months since I've made my latest video. And uh, yeah, so there's three sort of different reasons why the big content drought. Okay. There's three really big reasons. And today I just want to make a video going over those three and let you guys know where the channel is, is going forward. Um, big surprise, I'm not stopping making content here on YouTube. Um, I really enjoy making content. I really enjoy interacting with you guys. And yeah, it it, it gives me some fulfillment, right? I'm, I'll, I enjoy teaching, um, you know, and sharing knowledge that I have gained over the years. Okay. So the very first thing that I want to go over is I had a BIOS update. So it's no big surprise, okay, this machine right here, I dual boot on. It's no surprise, okay? I've told you guys probably in other videos or if you checked me out live and I've mentioned it there that I, I dual boot, okay? When I started making content here on YouTube, I had a laptop okay if you go to my earlier my dwm videos and stuff like that when i had really long hair i had a laptop okay i was doing everything on a laptop when i built this machine right here this is my gaming machine this machine was meant to be only a gaming machine that's why i dual boot okay so at the time, I had the laptop for Linux, and then I had this kind of machine for gaming. Well, the laptop eventually took a crap on me, okay? It wouldn't charge anymore. Uh, I think, like, the keyboard was kind of screwing up. I mean, it was a pretty old laptop. Um, I mean, I did get my money's worth out of it, but it was just, it was time to, you know, throw it away, right? So... In order to make content here on YouTube, what I had to do was I had to put Linux here on my gaming machine, right? Okay, so I think what happened was that there was a BIOS update inside of my Windows box. You know how, like, like I'm pretty sure most of you guys have ran probably Windows before, right? And you guys know that sometimes... The Windows updater will, it'll install drivers and stuff for you or update drivers and stuff. Well, I think I had something selected to update my BIOS. Like if I had a new BIOS update, go ahead and just package all of that stuff in, right? Well, that BIOS update, it resets some stuff in BIOS. I don't exactly know what happened, but I do know when... Eventually, um, about two weeks ago or a week ago now, um, when I really went to investigate the issue and kind of fix the issue, um, I do know that there is a lot of stuff inside of BIOS that was changed. It was so bad, guys. It was so bad. Like, that... Um, so, how I know that there is a... The, uh, the update kind of screwed up everything is because... After I did that initial update, right, about a week later, I was going to make a video here on YouTube. I was going to, you know, get in, get in Linux and everything, and I had some other stuff I needed to do. I tried to get into my Linux, um, my, my Linux partitions and stuff, and I was going to boot up into either Gen 2 or Nix OS. I've run both of them, um, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I didn't get a kernel panic, so to speak. Um, it, everything got stuck on that EFI stub, okay? No kernel panic. Um, so then, my next thing, I was like, well, maybe something's going on with the hard drive, right? Because I run all, all my Linux stuff, I have a separate hard drive for. Check the hard drive. The hard drive is fine, okay? So then, I, uh, <laughs> I was like, all right, well, I'll just reinstall Linux and no big deal, right? So, uh. Got a USB stick, put a Gen 2 ISO on that USB stick like I always do, right? Went to try and boot up that USB stick. 
the USB stick wouldn't even boot up. And that's when I knew, okay, something's kind of going on in BIOS that, you know, I, I don't know exactly what happened, right? I kind of quit trying at that point. Like, I was getting frustrated, and I kind of quit trying, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I'll leave it alone for a little bit, and I'll come back to it when, when I want to investigate this issue. Three months, four months later, here I am, right? So, um, it's no excuse. Look, okay, that's, that's one of the biggest reasons uh, about the content drought is simply because I, I actually thought there for a minute that I bricked something on my motherboard. Um, for those of you that don't know, my motherboard is a piece of crap, all right? My, my machine is good. Everything that I have running on this computer is good. My video card is good. I have I, have, I even use another uh, um, another Ethernet card or Ethernet, however you say it. All right, I, I use another third party card because the one on the motherboard is trash. The USB sticks or the USB ports on this motherboard is completely trash. Okay, um. So, I was like, man, I, I was like, this motherboard's just taking a crap on me, right? Like, that was my initial reaction to all of this, honestly. So, I was like, well, I was like, Win Windows still works. So, I continued just to use that, and um, I was playing some games. Okay. The second big reason for the big content drought is that I have mentioned this to you guys before, but... I play World of Warcraft. I do. I am a big World of Warcraft player. Um, I've been playing now for about 10 years. Uh, I'm not high-end or anything like that. Like, I don't Mythic Raid. But I do push keys. Um, any of you guys that play WoW, you know what keys are, okay? Uh, so I do push keys and, and stuff like that. Um, and there is a WoW expansion that dropped so of course i was invested in that okay so between doing the wow stuff um and i was also streaming there on twitch i did get affiliated on twitch um which is kind of cool so that's something that I, I actually achieved while i've been away um but yeah so i was streaming on twitch i was playing some wow spending time with the old lady doing stuff around the house i've also mentioned to you guys that i YouTube is not my full-time job or anything like that, okay? It is a, um, it's just something that I like to do. Like, so, um, I have a full-time job. I still have to go to work every day. <laughs> and, um, so that's some of the, the, the drought reasons as well. And the third reason, I think, is simply, I, I burnt out, guys. I did. I burnt out. Um, making YouTube content is challenging. It is. It's hard. Um, I envy everyone that's able to pump up video it's at the videos, like Brody and DT and Matt over there. I mean, man, those guys, they, it's, they're machines, man. Like, they just, they can pump it out, but it's hard. It really, really, really is hard. Like, it's hard, it's hard trying to sound intelligent, right? Like, you're teaching people stuff. Well, that's what I like to do. I like to teach people stuff. And it's hard trying to sound like you know what you're talking about. It's hard trying to create original content. It's very hard trying to create original content. Because the YouTube space is so saturated with almost the same type of videos, right? Like if you look on my YouTube channel right now. And you look at, don't look at my Gen 2 stuff, but look at my other stuff, like my window manager stuff, my Emac stuff, right? My NeoVim stuff. A lot of that stuff, a lot of those videos, right, was probably inspired from some, someone else, right? What I've probably done, and I know I've done this, is I've watched one of those older videos. And then I was like, well, I was like, I could take some things from this, and then I can take some stuff from this video, 
that can kind of create something you know um it happens right like people do that all the time it's, it's no it's no secret um and that's why sometimes when you go to youtube and you search for one video another video pops up that's kind of the same as the first video that you watched you know i mean that type of stuff does happen um so i think between all three of those that's some of the biggest reasons why um such the content drought like i did say um i do apologize um you guys definitely deserve better something funny though is um when i quit making the content i was at 2100 subscribers i think 2100 i'm at 23 almost 2400 now i've gained subscribers <laughs> <laughs> I'm gaining subscribers, not really doing anything. Um, I don't know how that works. Um, I am very thankful, um, obviously, but I just, <laughs> it blows my mind um, how something kind of like that works. Um, another thing is that um, some of you guys might want to know am i still on gen 2? Uh, what happened? What, you know, when, when I booted up into my Linux box for the first time in like four months, what? You know, did it still work and the update? I had 458 package updates. 458 on Gen 2. Now, on something like Arch or Ubuntu or one of those other distros, that probably wouldn't have been a big deal. But here on Gen 2, even with the beefy machine that like I have, that's a lot of updates. Um, I had 458 updates, and I was half expecting my, you know, my, my partition just to blow up and, you know, me have to restart again, right? But no, nothing happened. I logged in, um, you know, I, I synced up my repository, um, I updated the world, and the only thing that I actually had to do was I had to, I had to update Grub, okay, because there was another Grub version, um, updated Grub, I had to make a new entry for the, uh, the newest Linux kernel that, uh, downloaded, okay, and of course, I've run an NVIDIA card, so I had to, uh, had to update the NVIDIA card to use that new kernel, so I did all that, I rebooted, and works flawlessly. Which is very surprising because I, I, like, I honestly did not think with that many updates that this thing was going to run. Uh, you know, I, I, I really did think I was going to have to restart. Um, but, hey, still works. Still good. So, that's about been it, guys. Um, like I said, I do want to thank all of you guys for sticking around. I want to thank the new subscribers for uh, for hanging out. Uh, I will be making new content. Speaking about content, um, I'm thinking I could probably do about a video a week. Um, kind of starting out um, again. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll post something and I'll let you guys know. But until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. And peace. Thanks, guys.